In this video, you will learn how to view, reply to, and edit discussion posts. To get started, click the discussions link in course navigation. This takes you to the discussions index page. Now from the discussions index page, you can view a list of all discussions in your course. You can filter the list of discussions to view all or unread discussions. You can also search for a specific discussion by title or keyword, and if enabled by your instructor, you can start a new discussion. By default, when you view a discussion, unread replies are automatically marked as read when you scroll past them. You can disable this option by clicking on the settings icon, select the manually marked posts as read uh, option, and then simply save settings in order to save that setting. The discussions index page is organized into three areas, pinned discussions, discussions, and close for comments. The pinned section displays a list of discussions that your current instructor wants to show at the top of the discussions page. The discussions section displays a list of all current discussions with the most recently active listed first. The closed for comments section displays a list of discussions with expired availability dates and discussions that have been manually closed. You can also view at a glance for individual discussions. Here I have an example for you on what a closed for comments discussion looks like on your discussion feed. Graded discussions display an assignment icon and discussions that require a peer review display a peer review icon. Due dates and times for a graded discussion can be viewed here and here. You can also subscribe to a discussion by clicking this subscriber badge right here, which will highlight green when you are subscribed. And if you wish to unsubscribe, you would simply click, click it and that would unsubscribe you from the discussion. You can also view read and unread discussions that will normally be displayed here towards the top of the discussions page next to the discussion button. To view a discussion, click on the discussion title. Once the discussion page loads, you can search for specific entries if there are quite a few in a discussion by either typing the name of an author, which would be a student or your instructor, or you could use keywords. By clicking this unread button, you can view unread replies. And by clicking these top and down arrows, you can either collapse replies or expand replies. If you wish to receive notifications on a certain discussion, you can subscribe to it here as well. You will know you are subscribed if the box is checked green and says subscribed. And if you are unsubscribed, it will appear like this. Now to reply to a discussion, click reply, click the reply button under the main discussion. This will open a rich content editor where you can type in a reply to the discussion. This can also be done to reply to student responses in a discussion. As you can see, you can also have a reply button here. And if enabled, you can also like other students' discussion posts. When you finish your reply, click the post reply button. And to edit your response, you'll click the three, arrow, the three dots over here and simply click edit. You've now completed this overview video on discussions. Thank you for watching.